Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in science, astronomy, and telescopes. Well, I hope at least one of them. Okay, it's a nice summer. We're heading into nice warm weather type of thing. I'm up here in the Bortle 2, the gray zone, and I want to show you, I haven't seen it too, too often. You guys tell me how often you guys look at this. Now, one of my favorites is called the Cat's Eye Nebula. It's in the Draco constellation. And I think it's nice. Um, I think if my memory recalls, you can start to see, I think, a little bit of the greenish color, which is very rare in nebulas because most nebulas are kind of silvers, grays, and light grays, and light silvers, that kind of tone. But I believe the Cat's Eye Nebula, you can start to see a little tiny bit of color, uh, uh, blue or greenish, you know, it's not super bright, but I, I think if you're in a dark site and if you have a big enough telescope, uh, it is uh, possible. So I like that one. And then maybe let's take a look at another couple things. We'll take a look at that as we do the video. Okay. As you can see, or I hope you can see, it's pretty high up there. Um, I'm probably at at least a 70 degree uh, pointing upwards. So which is, you know, good because you're looking at less atmosphere. Now, let me see if I can put the camera over there. Okay, there we go. Should be in the eyepiece now. Okay, if memory serves me correct, I believe it's a kind of small nebula. So I don't see anything in a 32 millimeter. So why don't we pop up the power? Okay, let's go directly to, uh, you know what, a 15 maybe? That way it's not so narrow field of view. I think I see it. You guys tell me, is it small in your view? I mean, it looks fairly bright, but it's tiny. I'm gonna have to get a stronger eyepiece. Okay. okay, we are going to be using a 9.7. Now, remember that video I've done where I brought up the emergency eyepiece case? This is what I have up now because it's a long weekend. I didn't bring my case because we were all totally full and I couldn't fit it in the car or even in the grand caravan. So. I just figured I'll use the emergency case up here and save room in the van. Um, to me, even in a 9.7, guys, it still looks like a kind of bloated star. I don't see any features. So I'm going to pop in a two times Barlow and let's see what happens. I don't know if now a car is coming. And I'm not sure if you guys can see all the mosquitoes around me, but I did put spray on me. Guys, I'm back. I went to go put on more spray because these mosquitoes are killing today. So I'm at a 9.7 millimeter ultra wide angle. And I'm also using a two times Barlow. I don't know what that power is right now offhand, but I'll put it up on the screen. And even then, with this power, I see it and it's small. I do remember, I think when I used it before, I believe I was using a 10 inch SCT, which has a 2500 millimeter focal length. Um, and this one has 1500. But, um, and I don't have any filters with me, inch and a quarter, that is, just to pop it up a bit more. And I guess I can't go any, I, I don't have any stronger eyepieces right now. It's okay. I guess you can get it off your list. I do remember seeing it better than this. Maybe, you know, based on my memory, I remember seeing a little bit of color. I remember it being kind of bright, but it is tiny. This time, I guess without having stronger eyepieces and without it being driven, uh, you know, it does move fairly quick. Give it a shot. You guys tell me, do you like the Cat's Eye Nebula? And what do you think of it? Uh, do you also think it's kind of small? 
driven scope would be easier and you can pump up the power but i don't have anything more powerful than this and there we go let's go to the big dipper okay let's go try the owl nebula i haven't seen it in a little bit and it's still at a good as you can see from this angle i'm probably at a 45 degree angle uh, so let's take a look at it and see it's not too low because as the summer passes the uh big dipper is going to be start getting lower and lower okay guys so even though i have a red light shining on me with a 32 millimeter you can clearly see the nebula i'm pretty sure i even see the two eyes or the dark spots of it so that's pretty easy to do so let's bump up the power i might have to i don't know how long i'm gonna stay out here with these bugs guys they're really pretty bad today even though i just put for the third time a repellent they're still i guess if they're hungry enough they're not going to care okay with a 15 millimeter the puff ball is very big i'm not using any nebula filters because i don't have any on this emergency kit except for a two inch so let's pop in a 12.4 Gets us a little bit closer. I wouldn't call it super bright. Oh, I do think I see like the two eyes where it's a little bit darker, but it's kind of very, very dim, that part. But the nebula is still, it's not super bright, but you can definitely tell it's a nebula. Okay, and I don't have any nebula filters, otherwise it probably would pop out more. Okay, another popular uh, galaxy in the Big Dipper is M109, so it's one of the 110 uh, brightest things to look at. Um, let me let's pop in a 32 millimeter so we can find it easier. Yeah, okay, I think I see it now. Actually, it doesn't doesn't seem very bright it's just a small glow so I'm not sure maybe that's why I haven't really talked about this one in a long time because it doesn't really look like it you know well galaxies are the furthest things away it kind of looks like kind of like a slender like a cigar shape uh, again it's not so super bright I would say it's kind of dim so if you guys are not at a dark site with averted vision you know you can tell but any new person looking they're probably gonna say ah okay little tiny tiny glow like a kind of like a cigar shape and that's about it yeah I would say not that great either there's way better things out there I suppose a car is coming in the background I think not sure if you can see that there we go there's the Three things to look at. The cat's eye nebula, it's tiny, tiny, but it's okay. And then we have the owl nebula. You can see it in low power. It's not super bright, but if you do want to take a look at it and you have a nebula filter, try it out. And then M109, I'm going to put that on the lower priority because it's not super bright and it's kind of dim, not really great. And there we go, guys. I mean, there's a ton of stuff to see. You just have to take your time and look. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. If you know anybody getting in hobby, please share the link. If you're on the forums and maybe somebody's asked about something like this, uh, share my link with them. I do have members video. Where once a month, I put a video just for them. It doesn't go on the live public. And uh, it's only 99 cents. Why don't you join? And why not you? Why not me?